actually so refreshing and they have the lime. Actually, I'm gonna squeeze the lime in here. All for 12 USD. Did you hear me? And look at the presentation. Bamboo leaves and everything. Okay. And that included delivery. So, go figure. Ask me again why I moved here. Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's day two. I think it's day two since being here in Bali. Um, day two or officially day one. One of them. Um, but good morning, y'all. I'm getting ready to go to this spa uh, close by. It's literally across the street. Yeah. It's like I can literally see the spa from across the street. And it's so mind-blowing, you guys, because I was looking at the pricing, right? And so, by the way, this spa, they do everything there. They do eyelash extensions, like the individual extensions. They do facials. They do foot massages, foot scrubs, pedicure, manicure, the whole thing. It's like you can spend the entire day at the spa and me myself i'm going over there today okay i'm going to treat myself today pamper myself it's been a crazy two to three it's been a crazy month it's been a crazy year okay so far and so i'm heading over there the prices y'all blew my mind for you can get a manicure or a pedicure with gel okay included for like 50 like 20 usd right um I think it was like 240,000 rupees, rupees. Crazy. You can get a fi uh, full, or something like that. Yeah, you can get a full uh, 60 minute full body massage, Balinese style with coconut oil, or the whole works, all of that good stuff. For like, yeah, about the same, 240,000 Indian rupees, Indonesian rupees, right? That's about 50 USD. Where? Where in the US? or even, even in the UK or like Australia or Canada, can you get a full body massage 60, 60 minutes for like 15 US dollars, crazy. And that's one of the things that I love about Bali and like Thailand, like this part of the world. Things are so affordable. Now, mind you, I do understand that there's such a thing as currency arbitrage, right? So when you're spending US dollars or money from the Western world, like Australian dollars, uh, pounds, you know, UK, Canadian dollars, or euros, it tends to go further over here. But um, I'm well aware of that and I'm mindful that sometimes the uh, people that live here who earn a living here in these countries sometimes aren't able to afford the things that foreigners who make, you know, Western dollars. So, you know, there's some people who come here and they act like they're better than and you know treat people a certain kind of way because they're from like the western um i'm definitely not one of those people like i treat everybody it doesn't matter who you are you could be the pool guy the, the cleaner whosoever like i respect everybody to the utmost like i don't treat anybody any differently right and that's that should be the standard that should be how things are because you as a foreigner you come into these countries and you have the opportunity to spend your US dollars and you're able to afford a lot more than a lot of the locals who earn their living here locally are you know are able to afford that that was just a thought that's kind of random but just wanted to throw that in but anyway I'm getting ready to go over there I'm super excited and hubby bought this yesterday he went to the store oh did I tell you guys the prices of the stuff yeah and you guys eyelash eyelash extensions was like 30 US dollars. Like where in America can you get your eyelashes done? Like single eyelashes done for like 30 US dollars, right? It usually costs around like a hundred and something, at least 140, 150 dollars, right? So man, like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So today I'm gonna get a Mani Pedi gel with um, a full body massage, maybe get my eyelashes done and maybe I'll see what else and I'll, sh I'll tell you guys what the total came out to be also hubby went uh, across the street to the store and got this Bali turmeric plant powdered with ginger, lime, black pepper, honey 
And I know some plant-based people are vegan. People are probably like, plant-powered? Why is honey in there? That's a whole nother debate for another. There are some plant-based people who believe that honey is technically not an animal product and it's still extremely beneficial whether or not you're vegan. Anyway, that's a whole different topic. But I'm, I'm curious to try this to see what it's like. I love ginger, I love honey. Ginger is very, you know, ginger does what it does for the body. So I'm gonna have this and then it's around eight o'clock right now. So, oh, we're gonna head across the street as well and get our laundry dropped off so that it can be done. That's another thing too I love about um, Bali and Thailand, this part of the world is it's so inexpensive you guys to do your laundry. I think it's maybe like six US dollars to get your laundry washed, you know, folded nicely and delivered or you know you can pick it back up. But it's literally like across the street. So um it's it's amazing. I don't have to fold laundry. Again, ever. <laughs> I don't know if I never say ever, never say never, right? But um well I don't know for how long you guys, but I don't have to do laundry for a while at least. I'm so excited. You guys, I don't mind washing laundry, right? In the US, it's the norm for people to wash their clothes in like washing machines and stuff. It's the folding part that gets me. Like after I do laundry, it's like having to fold and put the, you know, do all that stuff. So yeah, I'm not gonna have to do that for a while. So listen, choose your heart, okay? Choose your heart. This is my heart. I choose this heart, <laughs> okay? So anyway, let's try this turmeric drink oh okay let's try this out hmm that's very subtle usually when i have turmeric ginger shots i don't know if this supposed to be if this was supposed to be a shot but usually it's very spicy but this one is not that spicy it's very subtle but it's good though this is what I like to drink in the mornings. This is how I like to start my day with some type of fresh drink or some watermelons or fresh juice, like homemade fresh juice or fruits. I don't, I'm not, I prefer not to eat heavy in the mornings. Like I prefer not to eat like a heavy breakfast. I'm more of just a, a natural juice fruit person or I'm just intermittent fasting in the mornings. By the way, see these nails, they're all broken. These are press-ons, by the way, okay? If you don't know anything about press-ons, let me tell you, okay? It's the way to go. It's the way to go. However, <laughs> these are some new press-ons that I bought, and I guess it wasn't such a good idea to wear press-ons, like, traveling, you know, with, like, moving bags from here and there and doing all these things. So, like, one, two, three, four of my nails broke this one and, like, three on the other hand. I'm like, really? By the time I got to the airport or got on the first flight, it was just, like, my nails are just done so I'm gonna actually get them done for months I've been either like not getting manicures or I've been doing press-ons I actually love press-ons because they're very convenient right very convenient you don't have to wait on somebody to uh, do your nails and it's like if one pops off I usually take you know an extra nail or extra nails with me um, with glue so I just pop it right back on versus if I did my nails at the salon and if a nail broke or something, then I have to wait to go to a salon to redo it, right? Versus just popping it back on. So, and it depends on the glue that you use and the nails that you use. These typically can last for like two weeks. The same time, it lasts the same, you know, if you were to go to the to the salon. So I don't know why people sleep on press-ons. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you, if you are team press-ons or you're team, you know, going to the salon, let me know. But... I do appreciate me some good press-ons, okay? Saves time, you can switch it up a lot quicker, faster. Okay, what's each their own? However, since I'm in Bali, and it's so inexpensive to get a manicure, I'm going to get me a manicure, especially because my nails broke off, so I don't wanna have to, I put so many, I reapplied so many glue to it yesterday, so I'm just gonna get me uh, a manicure. Why not, right? I'm gonna basically treat myself. So excited. Um, oh, my skin is skinning this morning. Hmm, glistening. No makeup at all. I'm loving it. It's the Bali effect already. 
for the Bali effect. <laughs> you guys, I feel so at peace. I feel so good. This move was necessary and I look forward to sharing with you guys more about why we decided to move to Bali. But in essence, Bali felt like home the first time I visited Bali. So if you guys have followed me any at all on social media or anywhere, you may have known that I'm someone who, you know, loves to travel. I would consider myself an avid traveler. I mean, I've been to dozens of countries, uh, countless cities. I've been across several continents. Um, I travel a lot. I love to travel. I traveled a lot before I became a flight attendant. I traveled while I was a flight attendant and I continue to travel after I resigned from, you know, being a flight attendant. And so travel is just, I just love travel because I love immersing myself in the local culture, just getting a different perspective of life, like the way people live. And it's just a beautiful thing. You learn so much, you know, rather than just being stuck in a, a, a bubble and not knowing what's going on in, in the world and how people do things, right? So traveling is such a beautiful thing. And anywho, when I came here, we absolutely fell in love. The first time we came here, it was just my husband and I. Right after I quit my flight attendant job, it was it was October 2022, and I absolutely fell in love with all you guys. It was just so peaceful. It was very ther therapeutic for me. Like during that season, I felt like I was gonna lose my mind. Like, <laughs> you know. And so it was just a therapeutic time, and uh, it was just amazing. It was just beautiful. And I was like, I have to come back to this place. I'd love to move here. I'd love to buy a property here. Like, I had all these dreams. And then right after that, we went to Thailand. We left Bali. We went straight to. Bangkok, Thailand, and even though I'm not a city person, I, by no means, not a city person. I don't like New York. You can't pay me any amount of money to live there. Uh, it's just something about New York. People are mean. It's just loud. It, it's um, it's dirty. Just a lot about it. Sorry if you are a New Yorker. You know, it's not you. It's New York. <laughs> and uh, but Bangkok, there's just something different about Bangkok. It's like. It's just something different about it. In the midst of all the chaos and a lot going on, it's like your emotions, it, it Bangkok will have all your emotions, not emotions, but your senses. Like, and what's interesting is Bangkok is kind of like New York, New York on steroids in a sense. Uh, but in the midst of that, it's just amazing. Like there's food everywhere, there's clothes, there's, things to do there's things to see like i love bangkok so much and so i knew that i had to move <laughs> or come back to this part of the world at least for a long period of time i knew that i had to at least take a long sabbatical here or live here for at least a year or six months or something um, and we're still torn honestly we're still torn between bali and bangkok where we really want to settle settle but for now, I think it's gonna be um, Thailand, Bangkok for a while. We're gonna visit like Chiang Mai and stuff to see if we can get the best of both worlds. Like if we can get Bali vibe and you know also being in Thailand, Chiang Mai seems like it's that type of um, place. We've never been to Chiang Mai, but doing my research and all that, it seems like it's kind of like in the middle, you know, Bali and Bangkok, not really, but anyway, so yeah so that's one of the reasons why we decided to come here because of how we felt the first time we came here y'all that is just one of like many reasons number two the people um you know most people are really nice uh number three like the us dollar goes a long way here you guys things is so affordable um you know for us like affordability varies depends on where you're from and all that stuff right how much money you make stuff like that but for us it's so affordable you guys and our money goes far here and so we love that about bali and we're on a fire journey okay financial independence retire early so the goal is to save and invest as much as we can while we're young technically i'm almost 30 but not there yet <laughs> not quite there yet almost but the goal is to save as much, um, pay off our last bit of stuff, couple of stuff here and there, and uh, just invest as much as possible. Like with living in the US, I'll be honest with you guys, the amount that we'll be able to save here, living here in Southeast Asia, we, I, we wouldn't be able to save that much living in the US. 
if I'm being real and if I'm being authentic and honest, like based on what living cost, living cost is like in the U.S., the standard cost of living, and in the U.S., you basically need a car most places, right? Unless you're living in the city, and no, I am not living in the city. So most places you need a car to go places, do all of that stuff. And so with a car comes car insurance and gas and all that, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, we had one car paid off, and then we were we were still paying on one car. We sold that, y'all. We sold both our cars. Okay, I sold my car, got money for it, which is amazing. My husband also got money for his too, even though he was kind of still paying on it. It was just a little bit left on it, but we we're able to get rid of that. So no more insurance, no more car insurance, and it feels so good. Okay, no more gas. <laughs> And so people may say, okay, but if you don't have a car, you still have to pay for transportation. Yes, but it's like here where we're staying right now, there are so many restaurants literally right here that's like walking distance. There's a market across the street. We can walk there. There's the laundry place across the street. There's a spa across the street. There's So we don't, and there's a beach walking distance, you guys. There's like a, a day club, one of the best day clubs in Bali, like, 14, 15, 17 minutes from here, something like that. Even though Bali, the streets can be a little bit tricky, it's not the most walkable, that's the only thing. But you guys, what? Like, why would I not want this life? Like, why would I not want that? And uh, anyway, what was I saying? I don't wanna get off topic. See, that's why I don't really come on here unless I'm really prepared, but I just wanted to come on here really quickly to share with you some of the reasons why I decided to move to Bali. But yeah, even with that, even grabs here. Like yesterday we took a grab. It was like a 20-something minute ride, maybe close to 30. The ride was like four US dollars and some change. And with the grabs here, you can up to pay cash too if you want. And we just gave the guy like US dollars, like five dollars because we weren't able to, we didn't like change out our cash yet and stuff like that. Five USD for like a 25 minute ride, you guys. And also in Thailand, there's like the BTS, there's train systems, there's grabs. Grabs are like Ubers, you know, in the US, Ubers and Lyfts, right? You can go check and grab uh, your food as well, rides, it's super easy, but it's so much more affordable here as well. So all in all, especially if you're still paying on a car in the US, and mind you guys, I'm talking about like the average person um or i'm talking to like the average people right i'm not here talking to people who are you're probably not watching this video if you are a multi-millionaire or a billionaire right <laughs> so i'm talking to like the everyday people who just you know kind of want to live simple lives you want to have wealth and build wealth yes of course maybe own a couple businesses stuff like that but you know i'm talking to the people who are they just want to live want to live simple lives right and have a good quality of life okay and so the average person's car payment is probably at least three hundred dollars to maybe seven hundred dollars right then you have car payment stuff like that so a lot of people out here are paying like like seven hundred to like a thousand dollars just for a car it's crazy um you know like i said i we had one vehicle paid off and we we're paying on one and it wasn't crazy but it feels so good to no longer have a car payment and car insurance at least right now um, for insurance, I'll get into that maybe in another video, but we're using uh, an international insurance that covers us internationally in over maybe 180 countries for a little medical stuff, travel stuff, all of that. So yeah, maybe in another video, I'll share a little bit more on the exact insurance and stuff like that. But you guys, I absolutely love it here. And also another reason why I wanted to move over here is because of the food. The quality of food here, you guys, is unmatched. It's real food. It's, it's real food, okay? You don't have to worry about what's being made in a lab and all these kind of stuff. We shouldn't have to worry about the basics, the basic things that we need to survive, like food, okay? And the food here is very fresh. It's farm to table, a lot of it, most of it, depends on where you go. But you can go to the market yourself and pick out your stuff. It's amazing. And for health reasons too, I wanna walk more. Like I was tired of being in the US where I felt like I was just stuck in my house, with my apartment, um, depending on where I was living at the time. But I always felt so stuck. Like, yes, I could probably just go out for a walk, but I don't know. It's just something about it. I don't even wanna go outside sometimes, you know? And it's just different, you guys. It's just so different. Here, I, 
I'm not just walking outside just to walk. I get to walk to do stuff, to walk to something, like to walk to a beach, walk to a market, you know? I have things, more things to look forward to, so I'm happier. I feel like my best self, you know? So yeah, the health aspect of it being more physical, um, eating healthier, uh, all of that stuff. Another reason is just, uh, you know, with the uh, politics and the bureaucracy and all that that's going on, I just don't really want to be a part of it. Um, and it's getting a, it's, it's becoming a dangerous place. A dangerous place for people who look like me, women who look like me, sadly to say, you know? And it's just a lot of different reasons, you guys. I probably can't get into it that much in this video, but I'll definitely get into it a little bit more in another video. If you want me to, you know, share more about this journey, about living overseas, living abroad, Bali, Thailand, you know? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. I'll definitely do a sit down video about like things to consider when moving abroad, whether you're moving by yourself or moving with a family, particularly with children. Um, I know there may not be a lot of content out there about families moving with babies or with children. Um, so I definitely can share a few tips, a couple tips here and there about what to consider, stuff like that, questions that you wanna ask yourself when deciding to make such a big move, you know, miles away, right? So, yeah, let me know in the comments, you guys. Like this video if it's the type of content that you're looking for. And yes, I'll still be doing some business videos here and there. Uh, but for now, like, this is the season that I feel like I'm in, sharing momhood, uh, somewhat personal life, you know, my journey. And honestly, these type of contents feel very natural to me. And what is Kyra doing back there? He's always fake coughing. That's baby boy back there, just fake coughing. Um, <laughs> his dad is with him. He's with his dad. So don't worry. I'm not just out here doing this video and he's back there coughing, okay? Yeah, this feels very natural to me. Like I feel very much in my element and very in tune with myself when I'm doing this type of content. I still do business coaching, stuff like that. Oh, by the way, if you need a consultation <laughs> if you need to strategize uh, business credit building your business credit acquiring funding or just strategize your business growth right i get from point a to point b i'm your expert i'm your girl all right <laughs> um so i'll probably leave a link here or something like that or you find it in the description below you can book a consultation with me i'm back with doing consultations guys i have i haven't been doing consultations for a while and a couple months ago, I started. I decided to open that back up. And you guys immediately were like, great. <laughs> you guys have been like um, looking. I had a few of you guys book with me already as soon as I made that announcement. So yeah, I'm back to doing some, you know, one-on-ones. I don't know for how long I'm gonna have that open, but I'm back to doing those like one-on-one con consultations. So if you wanna book a consultation with me, a chat with me, I possibly will open um, some up for like, maybe moving abroad, like strategizing, uh, you know, working out like the logistics of certain stuff with moving abroad, traveling. Uh, you know, traveling is something that I've been doing for years, absolutely love it, so I may be able to help you on that. Um, so yeah, but anyway you guys, I'm going to get ready to go enjoy my spotting. I'll see you guys in the next video. So this one tastes better. Mm -hmm. All right, so hubby over here, hubby over here is eating a mandarin. Tell the people what you think about this mandarin from mm. Bali. <laughs> it tastes sweet. Mm. It don't taste like nothing like the one in America. <laughs> you remember the one we had? It tastes like nothing. <laughs> yeah, but it actually tastes like fruit, right? Mm -hmm. Also, y'all, let me show you guys really quickly what we got. So let me show you guys what I got from the store. Usually I don't buy my fruit uh, already cut, <laughs> especially in the US, but I don't know, it looked so delicious. I couldn't resist it here. And they cut it pretty much fresh every day and then just wrap it right away. So I trusted it. Uh, so this one was only, the price is not on here. Oh, 21,700 rupees. That is about $1.50. A dollar fifty. Yeah, it's not even 
two dollars yeah this is not two dollars so it's a dollar twenty cents or something like that for this beautiful dragon fruit how much does a whole dragon fruit cost in the u.s y'all a lot at least seven dollars or four dollars it depends i got this beautiful mango omg i love me some mango this mango was twenty three thousand so it's about a dollar something as well um this avocado was the most well i thought it was eighty four thousand rupees at first but it was per kilo but it was actually only what how much was this where is it she said it was 32 it's not on here but she said yeah the thing was set only 32 something so that's about two dollars for this beautiful avocado i got um some papaya i love papaya baby boy loves papaya six thousand rupees okay that is less than a dollar that's about 50 cent it's only half but still papayas are so expensive like a whole papaya is usually like five six dollars or seven dollars something like that in the u.s it depends on where you go this watermelon was like nineteen thousand, so that's a little bit over a dollar i love me some watermelon where are fruit people like my uh, baby boy loves fruit i love fruits this is how i like to start my day um and then i got another half of papaya so that's another so this in total was barely even a dollar this whole papaya was like a dollar usually in the u.s it would cost me at least for a whole papaya maybe five seven u.s dollars something like that and these waters each cost 50 cents okay i'm not a big fan of purified water i prefer like spring or um ph balance like alkaline water and stuff like that but i'm okay with this this water doesn't taste weird i actually like the taste of this water so yeah this big water 50 cents you guys <laughs> so just to give you a an idea of the like the cost here the the most expensive things oh and i got this other thing of mango mm, how much was this what do you need babe you need something your limb uh, what was it? how much was this uh, nine thousand nine thousand that's less than a dollar crazy you know how much that would cost in the u.s lemon c yeah. yep vitamin c and this was dang i don't even is the price not on here it says 53 per kilo so i don't know how much it was oh well it was 53 i don't know but anyway yeah so the most expensive things were these because actually we just decided not to bring our lotion actually we pretty much ran out of our lotion by the time we're packing so we're just like we're just gonna get something real quick so we just decided to get this this by itself was like a hundred and something thousand rupees so that was one of the most expensive things and this of course sunscreen we didn't bring any um so the total bill was like 700 let me see if i can find it huh yeah that's a spray um, oh, this is it was 760,000 rupees that came out to about 49 USD something like that so yeah if we didn't get the sunscreen and the lotion uh, this probably would have been around 20 maybe not even that much honestly I can't really calculate it right now I'll probably put it on the screen so yeah you guys to give you an idea of why I love like the affordability and the cost of living here in, in Bali Indonesia by the way, I'm getting ready to go to the spa. I have a few minutes, I'm gonna run across the street. Oh, and we ordered breakfast a while ago, right? It came up to about 100, well, it was like 170 something thousand rupees at first, but then I think Hubby found some codes. What are they, like coupon, like mm -hmm. discount stuff? Yeah. yeah, they always have like discounts on there on the Grab app or Gojek, was it Grab or Gojek? Right. On the Grab app. And it came out to like 162,000 rupees. That came out to like 10 US dollars. We ordered from this really nice vegan place the breakfast is legit you guys it looks so good maybe if i remember uh and if i don't eat my food too quick i'll try to give you guys a video of what that looks like but the breakfast came up to only 10 usd total for both of us my husband and i in the u.s if you go to a vegan spot or any breakfast spot it's gonna cost you at least ten dollars per like meal right so yeah we love Bali!